Super 6 Racing. We're underway. Gavin Ross in the bright green. Commodore is on the front row. Harley feeling there in the clean duck. Commodore just behind. This is Brent Edwards having a super weekend so far. P5 down into turn one. He's in that blue and black DPS AU Falcon. Everyone just working their way through turns one and two at Winton. And it's great to see Tabernall back at the pointy end of the field. We're missing Travis Lindorf this weekend, who was another of the key contenders in the opening round of the series at Sandown. We ride with Chris Lillis. Oh, cold tyres. Bit of seesawing at the wheel. It's running back in seventh position at the moment. Two wide going through the sweeper. They narrow it back to one. Rarely can you get through there too wide. And how good. Tabernall gone up the road. Feeling oh. defending <laughs> massively. And they're all sideways through turn six. The braking zone into seven. Luke Westall just looking down the inside of Michael Barch, the former V8 touring car and V8 ute racer. Seriously, this is lap one. Not 29, boys. Settle down. The long race, compulsory pit stop in the middle. Need to spend a dedicated amount of time in pit lane. Some will stop early, some will stop late. Some will stay out. If you're buried in the field, you stay out a little bit later to give yourself track position and try and elevate yourself further up the field. So Tabernall, Ross, Feel and 1, 2 and 3 for Holden in Saturday's first of two races. They are going to play out this time round. Just saw Mitchell knocking on the back. He's in one of the older cars, the VN Commodore, further back in the field. Right on cue, he comes in the shot. Move. Down the inside of Westall. Those VNs were tough cars in their day. Looks having a tough weekend. He's traditionally a very front runner in this series. Here's Brent Edwards going side by side across the strike and down into turn one. He's on the preferred racing line. Did get through? Oh, just put around the outside. Good racing, isn't it? This, this category is unbelievable. The side-by-side -side action they put on every single round is phenomenal. And the passing move at the bottom here. So the 77 locks a break of Bevan. He's going to run at a racetrack, or is he? Brent Edwards gives him a serve up and unloads himself at the same time. Lucky not to spear off into the gravel trap himself. And the 77 just works his way through. So Bevan back in the mix and Edwards goes back around the outside. And look at Luke Westall now. He's just jumped up into the equation here. David Wright was in the mix too, but he's been shuffled right down. What a battle. How good is this? Side by side, Mitchell. VN and he's going to find the dirt here. He's going to come back in front of the field. Ron Ball from Barch's perspective. The next to dial before you dig entries. Our naming rights sponsor of the Australian Super 6 Touring Car Series. They stay on board through the right hand hairpin. See again, seesaws away at the wheel. And the reason we haven't seen anything of Ben Grice in this motor race, we're just getting word from Pit Lane. Broken axle on the start. He's out. Day done. Didn't even get to complete a lap. He missed uh, setting a time in the top 10 shootout in qualifying because he went into his garage rather than uh, stay in park for May. And that removed him and put him down the field. This was an amazing exchange. Have a look at this. Oh, it's an Elvis in a couple of corners for Brent Edwards. Oh, Watch this. He thought he was done. No. Wow. And good catch too. And then he thought, no, I'll finish the 77 off. Yeah. There's a bit of payback here. Uh -huh. Knock, knock, who's there? Payback in Super 6. Never. Sure. On board with Michael Barch.